Hello everyone, welcome to Shability eLearning. Feel free to contact us at eLearningAshability.net or you can contact me on 0708-990034. In today's lesson, we are going to look at vegetation of Africa. In this lesson, we shall look at vegetation of Africa, we shall look at natural vegetation, we shall look at uh, planted vegetation, differences between natural and planted vegetation, we shall have a look at planted vegetation in detail, vegetation zones in Africa, cultural vegetation, and characteristics, temperature, temperate vegetation. First of all, I'm going to look at vegetation. What's vegetation? Vegetation is the plant cover of any area. Okay? Vegetation is the plant cover of any area. Uh, there are mainly two types of vegetation. We have got the planted and the natural vegetation. Uh, natural vegetation is the plant cover of an area that grows on its own, while planted vegetation is the plant cover of an area that is grown by man. Feel free to contact us at elearningashabi.net. Uh, you can contact me on 0708-9900-34. So, we are going to look at the differences between natural and planted vegetation. We have natural vegetation on the right hand side. Trees have hardwood. Trees have broad leaves mixed up with small and broad. They take longer to longer time to mature the forests are thick and impenetrable they grow tall with large trunks well as the planted vegetation on your right you have got trees have soft wood so in comparison you see the natural vegetation meaning the trees in the natural vegetation have got hard wood whereas planted vegetation trees have got soft wood since the planted vegetation they take few four to five years to mature like the pine trees Whereas the mevule trees in the natural vegetation, they take around 15 years to mature. So, uh, we have trees, pl trees are planted in rows. They have one tree species. They take relatively shorter time to mature, which is around 4 to 5 years to mature. Examples of planted vegetation we have got the eucalyptus, the pine, the cypress, the cedar, or the conifers, the farm, and the mosses tree. So yeah, we can be able to differentiate between natural vegetation and the planted vegetation. Angela, well, I said the planted vegetation is one which is planted by man, whereas the natural vegetation is one which is grows by its own. Other 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 students can be like, planted vegeta natural vegetation is grown by God, which is which is a good idea. So we're going to look at the vegetation zones of Africa. We have the equatorial, stroke, tropical, rainforest, vegetation, savanna vegetation, we have the Mediterranean vegetation, semi-desert vegetation, mountain vegetation, desert vegetation, mangrove vegetation. Those are the equatorial zones. We have the equatorial, savanna vegetation, Mediterranean vegetation, the mountain vegetation, and tropical vegetation. So first of all, we're going to look at the equatorial vegetation. This is the type of vegetation that grows in an area that it experiences heavy rainfall throughout the year. They are found We shall have a look at uh, the vegetation, equatorial vegetation that is found in Africa. We shall look at the examples of equatorial rainforests, the mahogany, the ebony, and mevule tree, the green heart, rosewood. So those are some of the examples of equatorial rainforests. Characteristics of the equatorial rainforests: we shall have the trees have hard wood. Trees have broad leaves. The trees have hard wood. The trees have broad leaves. The trees have buttress root standing above the ground. Thank you very much, fellow students, and we wish you a happy new year as you 
try to do the exercises I know you won't remain the same and so you're gonna look at what are characteristics of equatorial vegetation how are planted vegetation different from natural vegetation how does vegetation affect human settlement draw a map of East Africa and indicate different types of vegetation thank you very much we love you so much in case you are new subscribe and never turn on the bell the notification bell for more upcoming lessons feel free to contact us at elearning or you can contact me on 0708 9900 and don't forget to check out the playlists below for the upcoming lessons that you may have missed we love you so much bye bye god bless you